I'm David Park. We all know life is good, but it can be so much better when we live it with a plus. Living Plus is brought to you in part by AARP Long Island. Get to know us and the real possibilities for you at aarp.org slash Long Island. Fire Island's Cherry Grove has long been a place where LGBT couples felt at home. Today, the community is honoring a woman whose landmark civil rights case legalized same-sex marriage. Tonight, we're celebrating Edie Windsor, who sued the United States government, not the IRS, she sued the United States government to get her rights with her partner passed away. And it's because of the groundwork that she laid that we now have same-sex marriage is legal in all 50 United States. Today was Gay Pride Day in Cherry Grove. We made Edie Windsor the Grand Marshal of the parade, so we went through town and honored her that way. And then we had a documentary about marriage equality in New York State. After the parade, at the formal reception, grateful couples expressed their gratitude. We are married, yes. As of uh, August, oh, what, 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 oh, August first, listen to this. August first, two thousand and twelve. I wondered yes. why you had to yes. think so hard about that. He can. Well, we married first in in New York State before Edie's court went to a uh, case went to court, and on the day that she won that case, I happened to be driving and I started crying. And I had to pull over, I was crying so hard because all of a sudden, because of this wonderful woman, our marriage was recognized by the entire United States and not just the state of New York. We've been together this year, 29 years. And last year in June, we got married on our back deck because it was our inalienable rights to do so. And that's why we want to thank Then that's why we want to thank Edie. Because we could get our federal rights, and that's what we want, like everybody else says. It's beyond like being, you know, friends, lovers, whatever. It's like it's it's the true, it's the tr it, it's the real, it's the most real thing. Just knowing that that we have this legally acceptable thing that you cannot get unless you really are married. Although Edie's activism has changed American society, she's coy about her achievement. No, I really came to, to, to lead the parade, okay? I, did, I have a sickness now for these parades, okay? So <laughs> I go from town to town. <laughs> and when it comes to the future of LGBT rights, she's very optimistic. Our future is very strong and good. I think more and more of us have more and more confidence, more and more of us are, are, are reaching out to each other, okay, and, and, and becoming stronger and stronger. Before we no longer look and say, well, you know, we're a bunch of softies, no, we're not. Ultimately, it's great. We may have to go through a rough couple of months, and, uh, and I think we'll survive that because of, because of who we are and look what's going on here. That optimism is also shared by her supporters. When we were your age, there was no such thing. There we wasn't even walking around with a girlfriend. So we've come a long way, but you know what? We lived, I never thought I'd live to see this, but the fact that I have, yes. it's just glorious and it's wonderful. We're very lucky. For Tom, celebrating gay pride is a way to encourage the youth to continue the fight. The younger generation sort of doesn't, isn't ingrained with the issues we had when we were young in the 70s, and they need to be reminded that our pride is important and we have to keep fighting for it. So the way you keep reminding them is by celebrating your own pride.